What's up everyone, it's Psychic Medium Elizabeth Grove with the Paranormal Priestess. I wanted to do a quick video today just to explain a little bit more about spirit extractions and what to expect, um, what the process is, because I have been getting questions from people and I just want to clarify um, some things. Um, what happens when somebody um, has activity and they are interested in spirit extractions? Um, what I would first suggest is definitely contact me on theparanormalpriestess.com. Go to my contact form and that's going to direct it right through to my email and that's going to come to me. Um, rather than, you know, just paying for a session um, that you may not need. Um, so I uh, not only may not need, but I may not be able to take on for you. So this is very important because I do get some people, they will just pay for an extraction and you know, what I'll have to do at that point is, is refund them, um, and then explain. So this is how the process would go. If you do have activity in your home, you're having severe things happen, you feel like you've been getting very ill, or I'm feeling very negative, and you, and you wanna reach out to me and to see if you're eligible for clearing work, um, definitely contact me through the paranormalpriestess.com on my contact page. Um, at that point, what I'm going to do is I am going to get together with my spiritual team, which is Source, Archangel Michael, um, various angels around me, my guides. I'm going to connect with them and first find out if you are eligible for this clearing work. Why is that? Um, as much as I am absolutely compelled to help every single person that comes to me needing help, um, there are times where I will not be able to interfere. Could I do the clearing? Yes. Should I do the clearing? No. Um, what are my limitations? Universal laws are definitely a huge, huge, huge thing um, where I would not be able to get involved. If someone has negative karma or even positive karma that they're working on that I can't interfere at that time, or if they have negative dharma or positive dharma, um, and my team lets me know that there are specific lessons that they're learning right now, and this is why I would not be able to just interfere and remove anything, um, then I, I have to definitely go with the higher ups on this, on the divine beings, and I would not be able to take it on, because that could have a definitely a, a negative impact on me. I could create negative dharma um, for myself. I could take on someone's negative karma, um, and that would not be a very good idea on my journey. So uh, this is why I let people know, please do not just purchase a spirit extraction service and then I'm gonna have to refund you, you know. Better for you to contact me, ask me, you know, am I eligible for clearing? You know, this is my story and I will find out for you right then and there. Um, and then I will get back to you and let you know by phone, yes, you know, I am able to take on this case and then I can let you know uh, what's actually going on. So contact me on my page. I'll let you know if I can take on this clearing and then I'm going to connect with my team and I'm going to find out exactly what's happening in your space. Okay, so when I find out what's happening in your space, that is also on a soul level. So it's activity that's happening in your physical surroundings and it's also happening on a soul level. So this work is definitely considered an energetic healing at its core. I know I've been approached by people that said, you know, say, why are you charging for clearing? You know, we don't charge for clearing, you know. You know, some people will actually try to make you feel bad that you're charging for a clearing, but they don't understand that what this work is, it is very different and it is considered considered an energetic healing um, and a lot goes into it. Just like you would go to a Reiki master and you would get Reiki done, although this is not Reiki because I utilize different uh, innate energies that I have, but when you go to a Reiki master and you have a session done, that's considered an exchange and it has value. Um, so anytime you're going for a healing, you are normally, um, you know, paying for it. So this is a healing. I am not just um, removing negative entities and then that's it. 
Because if I were to do that, guess what? You would definitely be having activity starting up all over again. So let me explain why, or, or rather how I do this. So if I let you know that I'm able to clear you um, and let you know what's in your space, you would then purchase the session and we can, you know, if you feel comfortable, then we can go forward with it. The way I do the clearing is I actually will go into my light body vehicle. So if anyone's not familiar with a light body, um, they can, you know, research that, you know, or they can ask me and I'll, you know, I'll let them know. But it's my spiritual body that I'm traveling in. And that allows me to go remotely to any location in the world. Um, and I can go to that location. And what's so great about it is that it's, it's definitely a lot safer than doing it in the physical. Um, so when you're doing a physical clearing or exorcism, there's, there's always a lot of risk that's involved, you know, with yourself and with who you're performing and on. So things can get really, really nasty and very dangerous very, very quickly. Um, not only that, but also too, when you're in a light body, when you're in a spiritual vehicle, uh, I have different energies that I'm able to utilize within my light body versus if I were only to do it in person and have herbs and say prayers. Um, I'm not saying that those things are not powerful and they certainly are, but there are certain limitations and dangers and risks doing it in the physical versus doing it remotely. And I have done both. So I was definitely able to um, make that comparison. Um, so I'll go in and I'll do that. I will clear out the um, different things that are going on. That can be psychic attacks, manifestations, um, the demonic, it can be griffin or satanic energy, it can be dark angels. Um, there's so many different dark entities. People usually just associate it with demonic, but believe it or not, demonic is not as severe as what it could get. That's, it's actually very true. Um, there can also be, they could be souls. They could be dark, malicious souls that people are mistaking as the demonic because that could be very scary as well. So I am taking all of that out, but I'm also calling on that client's higher self. And of course, I'm getting all this permission first before doing any of this. I will call on that person's higher self and I will then take a look at their higher self, at their soul, and see where the possessions are, uh, or where the psychic attacks are, or whether there's manifestations within them. And not only that, but a lot of clearers miss the fact that there are a lot of energetic items um, that are placed within people, that if they are not removed properly, they're not always so easy to remove. It can be very tricky. These beings can be very smart, very clever in how they do things, I must say. Um, so there, they could, there could definitely be various negative items placed within someone's soul. It could be even in their, their very high aspects that I need to remove properly. So that way the haunting, the activity will not reenact. Um, here's just like a little tidbit for you guys. When someone has, um, psychic attacks within them, uh, known as projections, if it's within the soul complex, they can most definitely make copies of themselves and attach to different physical areas. So if these projections or these psychic attacks are only removed from the physical environment and they are left still within the soul, they will only make copies of themselves again and guess what? There will be activity all over again and hence the clearing was not done properly. And just snowballs of, you know, again. So that's just, you know, an example. Um, uh, as far as healing work, so when I remove out the negative energies that these negative beings have placed, you can't just take something out of someone without repairing it and balancing it, uh, correcting the direction of the flow. Um, if there were any kind of caps on someone, you know, if, if someone's, uh, abilities or their consciousness levels were capped off by these beings, um, I would, you know, help that too. I would, you know, uncap that and make sure again, that the energy is flowing the way it should be. You know, I would, um, make sure that the blueprint itself 
is on correctly. Everything's balanced and grounded. So there's a lot of work here. So even though, you know, I'm charging $145, um, you know, <laughs> there's a lot of work that goes into doing extractions. It's not just taking the negative spirits out and that's it. And some people also ask me, where do the negative spirits go when you take them out? And I'm like, well, they go back where they came from. Well, how do you know where they came from? I don't really need to know where they exact, what dimension they exactly came from. Um, you know, I rely on my team when I go in there in my remote body. Uh, it's not that I'm going in alone. You know, it's kind of like I would never suggest anyone doing any kind of astral projection and not bring in their, their angels or their guides or source. No, I'm going in with my spiritual team of light and they're literally guiding me every step of the way. And when I'm removing things, they know where they are to go. I don't have to question that. Archangel Michael knows where these beings go. Whatever, it doesn't matter what type of being or what dimension they come from. Um, I definitely know that the angels know what they're doing. So, um, and they haven't disappointed yet. And they never will. So, um, just to let you guys know, because I've been asked that too. Well, do you know? And I was kind of like, do I know where I'm putting them? Well, my team knows where they are to go. My team knows, hands down. So once everything is completed, and again, I'll check in with my team to make sure that everything's completed the way it's supposed to, that the healing work on the higher self is uh, where it should be, everything's fine. I will then leave the location and come back to normal consciousness, ground myself, whatever I need to do. And, um, and then I will contact my client. Um, I like to talk by phone. So, you know, I'll let them know that this was completed. And I'll also give them a lot of great protection tips going forward. Maybe some that they've never heard before, some of the higher level protection tips. Um, I'm also thinking too of, of developing a, a protection shield for people. I haven't done it yet, but my team is giving me a heads up that this is something that definitely is a good idea to do for people. So I'm currently working on that and that will be a really great thing um, too. So that's pretty much the process in a, a nutshell for you. I hope I, I helped to clarify it better, of course, if you have any questions uh, in regards to anything that I've talked about or if you can think of anything else, you know, please don't hesitate to contact me on theparanormalpriestess.com and I, I'm usually really, really good at getting back, back to everyone right away. You know, depending on my schedule, you know, I, I try my best to get back um, rather quickly. So... I love what I do. So far, I've heard great things. I haven't had anyone, not one person yet call me and say that, you know, the clearing started over again, you know, we, there's still more clearing to do. Um, so, and I'm not doing that to, you know, to come off arrogant or any kind of way. I am completely humbled and blessed by what I do. But all I'm saying is so far, the turnout has been fantastic and people have been very happy. And for that, I'm truly grateful. So if you are interested, if you have activity, you know, if it does seem very severe, if other clearings have not worked, you've tried everything, you're done, you don't know where else to go. And if you'd like to just inquire, please do, I'm here for you. And um, I will let you know if you are eligible for this type of clearing. So that's it for now. Um, from the heart of the darkness, as always, born the light. I will see you guys soon. Bye-bye.